Good morning. Welcome to Laugh, Love, and Learn 2017. It is the 28th year of our annual event, Laugh, Love, and Learn, which supports our care management program. Uh, at the Pleasant Hill Senior Center, we have many seniors, as you can see, but one of our programs is our care management program, which provides on-site free service to seniors to help them find resources and services to remain living independently. This is our biggest fundraiser of the year. We have sponsors in the main hallway. We have speakers throughout the day in the main room. And we have vendors throughout the rest of the building. We are very proud of this program and we could not do it without community support. Hi everyone, I'm Michael Harris, Mayor of the City of Pleasant Hill and it's my pleasure to be here. This program has been going on for a number of years and I've attended as many of them as I can. It provides a wonderful resource for seniors and others who care for seniors in looking for opportunities where you can get insight into home care, assisted living care, and other types of services that are available to help seniors manage in their later years. I'm almost there folks, so I'm really taking advantage of all the vendors who are here. The program is terrific. You always learn something new, put on by wonderful people at the Rec and Park uh, district and it uh, benefits the, the care management program which is one of those other terrific programs that goes on in Pleasant Hill. Pleasant Hill loves seniors and this is just another another way that we show it. Hi, my name is Adrienne Vasilev. I'm with Mount Diablo Adult Education with the Lifelong Learning Program. I'm here today because I really love this community. We're trying to get the word out. We have so many fantastic instructors and programs that we love sharing and building our community with. Um, so we're hoping to get a little bit of interest in what we're trying to do. Lifelong learning never ends, so choose a class today. Uh, I know, but I think some other Good morning, my name is Johanna Jenkins and I'm with Beacon Home Care. I'm the Director of Education and Business Development. Beacon Home Care is a non-medical home care agency. We provide non-medical care all throughout the Bay Area for anyone that needs help at home. We provide 24-7 service all year round. If you'd like more information, our website is www.beaconhomecare.com. And we are so happy to be here today to support our community and provide resources. Hello, I'm Lisa Spivey representing Carlton Senior Living. We have four communities in this Pleasant Hill and Concord area. We were called the Chateaus in this market starting 30 years ago when Tom McDonald started Chateau 1 and 2 on Pleasant Hill Road and then we grew to Chateau 3 and then Poets Corner and then Chateau on Broadway and Concord and we have 11 communities in total from Fremont all the way up to Elk Grove so the new president decided why don't we all be called Carlton that is our parent name and so that's what we did we've all been called Carlton now so the chateaus were not bought out by Carlton. We've always been Carlton. I love these resource events because we're able to bring our information to the seniors um, and their kids. And it's a great resource fair to find out all the different things that we offer seniors in this community. Hi, I'm Carl Whitehead, licensed general contractor. I work with Safe at Home. We're a company that installs grab bars and banisters to try to keep you on your feet. Uh, we're here today to try to get the message out that fall prevention is one of the most important things you need to consider as you get older. Uh, one fall could really end it all. So get your grab bars in while you can. I'm Dana Wilson and I'm a seniors real estate specialist with Keller Williams Realty. 
And we are here today with our group, the Senior Solutions Group. And we come to this wonderful event every year. I think this is our fourth year running. And we're a group of professionals. We're experts in our different fields of business practice. And uh, it's a group that actually I co-founded. And we came together because I found that there were people over 65 that needed more help. They need resources, they need information, they need the knowledge so they can go and make their own decisions and choices that work for them. So we've got people that will help with tax, legal, financial, moving, organizing, seniors real estate. I'm a seniors real estate specialist. We've got a contractor that's behind me here. He's always the rock star here because he does handyman services. So we cover the gamut of services. We'd love to be a resource for those that just need a little extra help in our local communities. Hi, I'm Lisa with Travel Center Tours and Travel and we're here at Pleasant Hill Senior to support the community. We've partnered with Pleasant Hill Rec to bring day trips and extended trips to the Senior Center and the community overall. So we're excited to be here to support uh, Pleasant Hill and anytime anyone is interested in any sort of trips, we're happy to have you stop in our office or stop by the Pleasant Hill Rec Senior Travel Desk here and we're happy to help. Hi, my name is Nay Albertson. I work for Rec Pleasant Hill Rec and Park. I am the water walking uh, instructor and I am here to try to get people in the know about water walking and about the water aerobics uh, program just in general. Uh, water walking is really important if you are injured or have uh, joint replacements or can't get any other type of exercise. Um, and actually I don't think a lot of people know that it's offered in the city. So uh, come on out and join me in the pool. Hi, my name is Joe Betancourt and I am with a company called Live to Be Healthy Senior Fitness. We provide fitness classes to the community throughout Contra Costa and Alameda counties. Classes are fun for any ability level, can participate, and we look forward to having people call up or drop by. We're outreaching today to let people know that if you keep moving, a body in motion stays in motion. So join us anytime you can, any ability level, live to be healthy, senior fitness. So they're, they're very, right, but you could, you could time your shuttle or your bus to get to Pleasant Hill Station and meet that train right there. Hi, my name is Samson Wong. I work for customer services at BART and I'm here today at the Pleasant Hill Senior Center signing up seniors for the Senior Clipper card and that, this very powerful card will allow you to get discounts on 20 different, more than 20 different transit systems in the Bay Area including BART and so if you sign up for this card you'll get a 62 and a half percent discount uh, and so how does that work? Uh, if you put nine dollars in cash on this card you'll get twenty four dollars worth of rides on BART so uh, please sign up for this senior clipper card all you have to do is be age sixty five and over go to the clipper booth at Embarcadero BART station uh, or you can go to our customer service center at Lake Merritt Station. We have quite a variety of shoes. I just brought a small sampling. So this is the ladies. The nice thing about that is the Velcro straps. You can secure it easy. Yeah, I like the wider, I mean, wider ears.
Good morning, my name is George Roberto and I'm from Legacy Nursing and Rehabilitation in Martinez, California. We provide nursing services and as well as rehabilitation, physical therapy, occupational therapy, as well as speech therapy for folks in our community. We're here as advocates for not only our facility but also for the people in the community. Not only do we try to do this therapy service but we also reach out to them for resources out there available for them as well. Not just the rehabilitation that we do in our facility and nursing but also that that we offer uh, social services and other community resources, things such as in-home care services, resources, transportation, as well as things like legal for folks as well. So we're trying to reach beyond the four walls of our building out to this community and the rest of our community here in Contra Costa County. 85% of the patients I see have never, ever used cannabis before. 59% are coming to me for pain. <laughs> Good morning, my name is Yolanda Cannonin, and I have a hearing aid practice right up the street from the Pleasant Hill Senior Center. We're here today to support the community. Um, our office actually has uh, procedures for hearing test and rehabilitation for hearing. If you'd like to know more information about us, please go to our website, which is www.hearingimprove.com. Hi, I'm Jenna Hughes with All Seasons Home Care. I'm our executive director. We provide non-medical in-home care. We came out today because we are a local company here in Pleasant Hill and wanted to reach out to all the seniors in the area. All Seasons Home Care provides non-medical in-home care. We send caregivers to the home to help with anything that consists of a daily routine. Things like bathing, dressing, personal grooming, driving, meal prep, and light housekeeping. Hi, I'm Laura Welsh and I'm from Nuclear Care Partners. We are a Department of Labor enrolled home health agency that specializes in taking care of folks who used to work at Livermore Lab, Sandia Lab, Lawrence Berkeley Lab, or any of the atomic labs throughout the United States. We have skilled caregivers, non-skilled caregivers, and we're here today at Pleasant Hill Senior Center trying to find folks who might need our care or to just spread the word of, about our organization. We can be reached at 888-525 5111 and I'm Laura Welsh and I'm the marketing and outreach director. Hi, I'm Bari Hendershot. I am the manager and funeral director for Neptune Society of Northern California Walnut Creek office. Uh, we are a cremation-based funeral home. We are a nationwide company. And what we do is take care of families either by pre-arrangements so they can take care of their cremation in advance or we take care of families if there are no pre-arrangements. We've been here for three or four years now and we just love this event. It's a wonderful resource for uh, families of seniors and seniors themselves and I really hope that people come and it's a yearly event and if you miss it this year, please come again next year. It's wonderful. Oh, you have a lot of yoga books. And, and the books only one for, 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 for,
Well, my name is David Strange. I'm a special agent with the FBI assigned to the San Francisco Division of the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Today I'm going to be talking about frauds that affect senior citizens, that target senior citizens, specifically those types of frauds that are targeted by telephone or by the internet. These include things like romance scams, they include things like the IRS scam, which someone calls you up and says you're with, they're with the IRS and wants money, and other types of scams that's particularly looking for people with money to give them the money and send it overseas. They are organized into criminal groups and they practice and train on how to do this. All right. They research you, they know who they're calling, and they say things exactly to get specific responses out of you that will make you more amenable to sending them your money. Okay? So I want you to understand that. They're not like common thieves or burglars or something like that. They're sophisticated criminal enterprises, and they're all overseas. Okay? As an FBI agent, I'm not a jurisdiction in a foreign country. So if the money goes over there, it makes it very difficult for us to do anything about it, which I'll talk about later in this talk. Right? And uh, so I'm going to talk to you about a couple of different scams that we've seen lately in the past few years here in the Bay Area and nationwide, but uh, ones that I have actually had personal experience investigating. The first one is what I call the lottery scam. It's also called the Jamaican lottery scam or the Facebook lottery scam. And this is where you're contacted either through Facebook, if some of you are on Facebook, uh, or if someone has set up a Facebook account for you, which often happens. Hi, I'm, I'm Scott Mason with Home Care Assistance and I'm the technology specialist and today I'm here with our telepresence robot that's specifically designed for seniors and it connects seniors with family members that could be anywhere in the world and puts them face to face where they can do a lot of activities together like cooking or eating meals, playing games, watching movies and it's just like having the children back at home. Hello, my name is Stephen Eggert, and I represent the Heritage Downtown Retirement Community in Walnut Creek. We are an active senior living community with 147 condominium style apartments. We are a wonderful place for people who are looking to move from their homes, but still have the, enjoy the benefits of being in a retirement community. We actually um, are very excited with our rebranding. We were formerly known as the Heritage Point for many years. But now we have rebranded and we are known as the Heritage Downtown because we are located so convenient to downtown Walnut Creek. So we would love for anybody who sees this to come and call us and come in for a, a tour and a visit. We have wonderful, uh, a wonderful dining room. We have wonderful exercise activities. We really would love to connect with our, the seniors in the community and give them more information about communities like ours. We kind of um, are off the beaten track, so a lot of people don't know we're there. And so getting the word out is important. My name is Asher Hoffman. I'm with uh, Vitalink Medical Alert Systems. I do uh, partnerships and community outreach for us. Uh, we are a local family-owned company based in Oakland uh, that provides medical alert devices. They basically are buttons like this one that you press uh, to get help in any type of emergency. 
and we are out here today to uh, explain to uh, the seniors in the area how having a device like this can keep them living in their home independently uh, for as long as possible. My name is Weston Soto. I'm the Director of Admissions for 24-Hour Home Care. We provide professional caregiving services to assist seniors with activities of daily living, such as personal care, meal preparation, medication reminders, transportation, as well as companionship care. And the reason why we're here is we are revolutionizing the home care industry for seniors. One way in which we are is through our Ride With 24 program. Uh, similar to like Uber, it's an on-demand car service if people ever need transportation, whether that be to doctor's appointments, to pick up medications, as well as the grocery store. It's an on-demand car service through our Ride With 24 program. It's very fast, quick, easy, reliable, and about 30% cheaper than standard cab fares. Additionally, all the trainings that our caregivers go through, we've directly collaborated with the Alzheimer's Association. So all of our caregivers go through an Alzheimer's and dementia care training for redirection techniques, identifying any type of disease progression or changes in behavior. And we also have collaborated with Meals on Wheels in conjunction with the Fall Prevention Coalition of Contra Costa County, where all of our caregivers go through a fall prevention training, which includes uh, any type of behavioral and intrinsic factors throughout the home as well. My name is Joe Valenzuela and I work with Humana. We are a health insurance company and we mainly specialize in Medicare insurance. But we also do dental, vision and life as well as annuities and long-term care. So pretty much the gamut of insurance. Uh, we're out here today in Pleasant Hill at the Senior Center because we find it's a great event to just get our name out there and build, build referrals for our clients. We give out information based on our plans and answer questions today. And a lot of people come up and have a great experience with us and we're also giving out you know, keychains and bags and different items like that. So we love it to come out to this event because there's so much traffic that comes here and they also do um, a lot of different things that other events don't do. They have seminars that go on, so it brings in a lot of seniors. The Pleasant Hill Senior Center for asking me to do this. When I started this four and a half years ago, I had a lot of doors shut in my face. The average age of medication is 65 and over is about. My name is Susan, and I'm here with my friend Tamara this morning. We're here for the Live Well um, event here at the Pleasant Hill Senior Center. We came today because we, we're living well, but there's always room for improvement. There's always an opportunity for new information. So we're just making the rounds, getting the information that's here available, enjoying the enthusiasm of the crowd, and making a day of it. The Senior Center is a great place to be. Come on down and join us.